trying to walk in, but it's never works. So basically, if you're ever trying to film yourself or anything you're trying to do, or even do like self portraits or stuff like that, like it's honestly pretty hard if you do not have a flip out screen. I mean, I tend to feel that a lot of the cameras before that had flip out screens were possibly like the best, hence why I never really invested into one of them. The one I did have was a T3i and a T6i, but those were obviously beginner cameras. But nowadays, really good cameras are coming out with really good flip out screens, so you actually are able to see yourself, take photos or video of yourself. But if you find yourself in the predicament of like, oh crap, I need to film myself, photograph myself, how do you like make sure you're in frame and you're properly framed up and everything? That is a huge benefit of the flip out screen. So I'm gonna show you quick little ways that are actually gonna help you out in order to you can achieve your goal, see yourself, why you're taking your photo, why you're filming yourself, and yeah, just see how cute you are. Like, see, I'm looking over to my flip out screen and I look, I look crappy, but yeah, you get, you get the point. See, like this is the 5D Mark IV, and as you can see, there's no flip out screen, and it's a super expensive pro camera, but it should have a flip out screen, in my personal opinion. Like, come on, like, why doesn't it? So if you do want to film yourself, there are a couple of ways that you can do it in order to be able to see yourself. One of like the super obvious things, it is a bit more expensive, but you can obviously just buy a camera that has a flip out screen. Luckily, like they're not kind of that expensive anymore. A really good camera you can get is actually go with the Canon M50 that has a flip out screen, and you can be able to see yourself if you're doing photo or video, and it's pretty practical. Now also, if you're obviously looking to spend a lot of big bucks, and maybe you're looking to just upgrade your camera in general, the EOS R is a super amazing camera. I highly recommend it if you're looking to do a little bit of hybrid photography and videos. But that is like the perfect meet in the middle type of camera. That's what we're filming on right now, and I love it so much. It's perfect for YouTube. Honestly, like I love this camera so freaking much. So the second option that you can go in order to fix your problem is definitely investing into a monitor. Obviously, this is a little bit more for people that are in the business, I would say so, and you probably get more usage out of buying an actual monitor rather than just like, hey, I want to see myself. But honestly, if you invest in a monitor, like it's so awesome. I do use it to kind of see myself when I'm filming at my house, my studio, like these YouTube videos, for example. And I also do use it for when I'm doing any type of like gimbal work. It's also really good to have it on my gimbal. This monitor right here is the Atomos Ninja 5. It is actually on sale right now. It's for 500 bucks. The thing I can compare it to is also the small HD monitor. Super awesome monitor, but that's all it is. Now, if you invest into this one, which is 500 bucks, you also get a monitor and a recorder. What does that mean? is that some cameras allow you to record with this instead of your actual camera and then that basically upgrades your footage from like let's say 1080p 8-bit to like 1080p 10-bit which is like 2 million more colors in the footage that you're seeing so obviously this is a lot of like techno mumbo jumbo the point is if you were to invest in one of these you would have a lot of usage out of it down the line so now the first two options were a definite no-go for you because you're trying to go super budget and just goddamn see yourself well the quickest and best way I think you can probably do is just honestly just like sync your phone to your camera like honestly with like Canon cameras, you are able to use it using like the Canon app. Like right now, I'm actually able to see myself. Hopefully it focuses. Okay, that's like probably like phoneception. Yeah, you're able to kind of like get the gist of like seeing yourself. You're able to see your framing. It looks pretty solid. It's super laggy right now. So it's not like a good at the moment representation or, you know, like, like minute per minute, second per second. But you know, it does get the job done. But this is a really good option. And honestly, it's like everyone has a phone, download the app and use it. Honestly, I don't know if any other other camera companies do offer certain apps, but I'm pretty sure they should. I mean, if not, another reason why you should just switch to Canon. I know a lot of people like to connect like their iPads to their camera. That way it's like a bigger representation of what you're actually seeing. So it's like a really huge monitor if you hook up your iPad. But that is a really good option, especially if you really want to see how a shot looks like really huge. And connecting it to your iPod is definitely a good option. Honestly, anything that accepts the app, you can probably put it on and use that as a flip out screen. All right, so for this next point, I was supposed to shoot the whole video actually at the house, but you know, we're at the office. So we're actually gonna just shoot it here. <laughs> the final thing you can probably do in order to get to be able to film yourself is honestly, I'm in the restroom excuse the echo it's just like use a mirror to kind of be able to see yourself so if i put this like literally right behind me i'm able to see myself and kind of somewhat like orient of how like it's gonna like look in the actual shot so yeah just using a mirror in order to kind of like get it at an angle would probably be better that way you can actually see yourself but this is some, like a the least expensive way you can probably just like see yourself let's get out of here i don't want the echo anymore okay so nathan actually presented a really valid idea <laughs> This what is about me. Do. So what you gotta do is if you have this, and you don't have a flip out screen because Canon never made one for the 5D Mark IV, what you gotta do is you gotta take your phone and turn on the camera and put that on selfie mode. You're gonna hold that in front of you and look at that. Ah, uh, I can see my sc Wrong hand. <laughs> look at that. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down with this cool vibey background on this cool vibey chair. Those five little thing, quick things you could probably do. I mean, the first two are kind of like a pro version, like I said, but if you have the money, definitely great investments that you could probably do. Like I said before, my the best thing I could probably advise you to do, just connect your phone. That's probably gonna be able to like to give you like the best results and you probably don't have to spend any money, just a free Bro, app. If you hold still enough, I can see my screen in your eyes. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, I'm the perfect reflection, guys. But also, a little quick tip for reals, though. Like, take off face tracking. Put on, like, center focus of your camera. You can see the center of your camera. So, if you keep your face relatively inside the center of the actual camera, like, you're always going to keep focus. That's what I used to do when I used to vlog on the 5D. But, flip out screens are live. Do invest in a camera. If you are about to buy one, get one with a flip out screen. You're going to enjoy it way more. It just makes life way more easier. All right, guys. That's it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. This feels uncomfortable. But yeah, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And yeah, I'll be back with another cool video for you guys. Uh. <laughs>